last year we had over 4,000 people coming to contact, contacting the Bureau for diverse um, queries and uh, problems. And yes, we have, we have got quite a, a, a number of volunteers from the community. So we are involving the whole community in the, set, in the running of the, and the development of the service. We'll start with the whole trustee board. They are all volunteers and we're very grateful for them, uh, for their support. And then we have volunteers from the community uh, service, community care officers who do much of the work they do it in, at the Bureau. We have volunteers who have come from Citizens Advice in the UK who are actually living in Gibraltar and they, and they volunteer. And people from the wider community who feel that they have time to spare and they come and say, look, I, w I would like to help you. And, and we, we find what is their speciality, shall we say, what is their niche and we, we support them in assisting us. Now in growing the office, the range of services, the range of advice has also grown. Tell us about some of uh, those services that you offer the community. Yeah, well, normally at this time of the year, we come out um, to here to the piazza to advise people not to overspend at Christmas, not to be faced with hefty bills come January or February. But this year, uh, we thought it would be a better idea to um, tell the community of all the different services that we provide which are free, confidential and impartial, uh, so that people know what services are available to them. We have a money advice clinic where, where people come in um, with problems with debt and we run them through a financial program which actually um, gives them an idea of where they are, um, or what their priorities lie, what they need to pay, what is, uh, for example, they need to pay the, the electricity, the water, the rent, and they, they are then able to, to see uh, what, uh, where they are spending their money wrongly and how to make amends to make it uh, more viable. I, am, I have a heightened awareness of the fact that for every presenting problem there are two issues. There's the uh, practical side of a problem and then the emotional. The practical side you can sort of sort out by getting, uh, going here, going there, getting a passport or whatever it is that you need to do but the emotional can take even longer and uh, because uh, I am very aware of that we have counsellors who are able to help clients who come to us who are, might, might be facing bereavement, divorce, separation, uh, unemployment, anything that, that um, uh, ill health that they feel that they would need to talk to, to a counsellor with.